If you have our Cruise 2.0 or 4.0 motor and you're using our Torquedo lithium power battery, then you should be aware of how to put it in storage and why this is critical. And right now we're showing 23.4 volts on the external post. What we're going to do is shut down the internal BMS, the battery monitoring system, so they can go into storage mode and it won't go into a deeply discharge. Also, if your battery has software that deactivates itself after 48 hours, um, then the battery will do this. However, make sure that the battery is at the correct charge level prior to that 48 hour shutdown. So now we're going to grab the cruise remote throttle which I have here. I'm going to turn it on. And at the moment, this battery uh, is at 0%. Normally for storage, you want to have it between 20 to 40% and then deactivated. Now, holding the power button for a few seconds, shutting the display off, turns off the motor. The battery is still on. I'll go ahead and show you this. So we'll go ahead and turn on the display. Now we're going to turn off the motor and the battery. By holding down the power button until the off is displayed. There's the off. I'm going to release my finger. Now we're going to go back to the post. And the battery voltage will drop down to zero volts here in a few seconds. And now the power battery is in storage mode between 20 and 40%. And also it's critical that the power battery is stored in less than 70 degree temperatures, if at all possible. If it's stored above 70 degree temperatures, you do want to reactivate the battery and charge it. Uh, if you're storing the power battery separate from the motor, I would recommend our accessory power button so you can turn the battery back on and charge it without the motor. If you do have further questions, feel free to contact one of our service centers or us directly and we'll be happy to help you out.